Hey everybody, it is Kat. Today we are here to do a little bit of tarot and we've got an anonymous person today. We are doing a personal reading, but it is going to definitely be for Pisces. Today is April. It is April the 14th. So this is going to take you guys from April the 14th up until April the 21st. Um, I keep hearing 21 for you guys and that's pretty interesting. So we're going to definitely see how this read goes and just kind of go from there. So I hope you guys are strapped in, buckled up and ready to go. So as I always tell you with my generalized reads, this is... I'm not going to resonate with everyone. If you do get any type of messages saying, hey, I will give you a personal read, it is not coming from me. I do not send out requests for reads. Um, I take personal inboxes, requests for reads. I do not personally do them where I reach out to you. So if anybody reaches out to you, it's definitely not me. And we are going to get started with these cards. I pre-shuffled most of these cards, so... We are going to go ahead and get started. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. So you've kind of been feeling like you have been kind of like lost off to yourself. I mean, your own world. Feeling as if um, things have kind of dried out. Like at one point, things were re feeling really good and very prosperous when you started out on this journey. But with the Page of Wands, with me seeing all of the mountains, there is hope because there's a lot of blue sky behind you. Like it's open atmosphere for you to create whatever it is abundantly that you want to be able to create um but it is you do feel like you're walking like on quicksand you feel like every step that you take makes you feel like you're sinking a little lower into a different area that you don't really want to sit in um i definitely want to go ahead and pull some more cards because i want to get a full read for this because being with that is the bottom of the deck we're going to go ahead go with that as kind of like your overall energy of the read you did receive the strength card in reverse you guys also received okay so we've got the four of wands the sun the strength card in reverse the justice we also have the high priestesses in reverse which is a lot of bit a lot of Virgo energy there um we've got the four of cups in the upright we've got the judgment card in the upright and we got the queen of wands in the upright and these are coming out for me yes so um it, it seems like not only were you going through with overall energy with this page of wands um if you look at the card you notice that she's kind of like using her walking stick so she's out she's thinking she's been responding with her head energy more so than her emotions in her regular life um these cards are not gender specific so of course just because it's a girl does not mean that that does not have anything to do with you or resonate with you um with this it basically means like your softer side your nurturing side the part of you that wants to feel whole without any um negativity or um, just anything standing in your way and with you being in the middle of the desert there's nothing in your way like opportunity is what you create it and what you make it you just have to kind of watch where you step which is why you have your your walking stick there um you guys did get the four of wands right after that which is there is going to be a time for celebration this is going to be an engagement an encounter a partnership be it business relationship or emotion um it's going to call for happy times. As you see in the card, the girl, she definitely walking is walking, carrying both not only a basket, but she's also carrying a bouquet of flowers. So she has all of these opportunities um, that are coming in her direction. I always believe that the 1111 is almost like walking through a portal of happiness. Like you're you're coming out of destruction, walking into into blessing. Um, and the reason why I think I can definitely um, verify that is because you guys got the sun card right after that. With the sun card, if you notice, she's carrying this red flag. This is like her claiming victory. She's not surrendering. She is like waving this flag very happily. This child has a lot of joy on her. So your inner child is starting to heal itself and starting to grow with a lot of things that you had dealt with in childhood. You're facing it head on. Um, with this, you guys have the sunflowers that are also here inside 
of this um, card with being the sun card um, the sunflower has a very strong stock it's not always easily grown and it you plant it sometimes it, it grows the way it's supposed to right weather white environment white circumstance things blossom um, with the sun coming out it means that the seeds that you've planted before are going to start to to grow and blossom so any business indoors that you have going on or any um relationship that you're starting to to begin a partnership with this may be like i said business relationship um this could be work this could be promotion engagement um this also can bring in commitment but with that sun card coming right behind it i feel like this is more a work geared this is more like you've put in the hard work you've been doing the dedication and you got the strength card in reverse and um, with the strength card being in reverse it's letting me know that right now um, you have been having moments of weakness where you're feeling like you're falling back into your old self um, and doing certain actions that make you feel like you aren't leading up to who you would like to be. So you feel like you've been weak in certain moments, but this is a time for you to recognize that this is this is a positive thing because you really are an honest, all honesty, with no matter what you're thinking, what you're showing out in reality is a different thing. What you're showing out in reality is that you are very strong. And that you're carrying, um, you're carrying your burdens and turning them into open skies for you. Um, you guys also receive the Justice card right after that. With the Justice card, it's like you're trying to balance out, um, be it work and home, um, or be it emotion versus logic. You're trying to balance the two of these things out. You're weighing out the better versus the other. So there may be another woman involved in the circumstance, and you're trying to weigh the two of them out, like whether or not one is more compatible with you in certain areas than the other one you're you're even thinking about these kind of things and the reason why i know that is because you guys got the high priestess in reverse um the high priestess is, is kind of like you working on your priorities and starting to prioritize um yourself first and with this showing me it's like you've been with it being in reverse it's almost as if you've been putting other people before yourself and not really pursuing the things that are more so like your force or something happened that made you feel like your dream wasn't going to become a reality. Um, be it relationship, work, or, or benefit. Um, you guys got the fourth cup after that, which is why I said that. Because if you read Baby Girl's shirt, Baby Girl's shirt says I'm over it or over it. Um, this is the four of cups. So she does definitely have three cups that are still full that are here supporting her behind her that have her back and then there's this fourth cup that comes in from from the um spirits or angels you know whatever you believe in whether it is your source of god or there are other circumstances with this with the cloud coming out of here it's like these cups may have drained but but you still have a cup that is being handed to you you're going to be having gifts that are going to come really fast and seem as if they are like because they're going to be like heaven sent. It's going to be like you're you're going to have a day where you go through a, a, a mid like like a full blown crisis. And then like all of a sudden everything works itself out. And you know that this is like divine. This is connected to you. And I am with this. You guys also receive the, the judgment card. If you see this, that there are things that are being risen from the dead. This may be coming um, and bringing in a reconciliation that you may have had with the past or a past person and they're starting to see what you've been seeing in yourself all this time and what the divine has seen in you because this is a divine connection um you also received the queen of wands um you guys have got a lot of wands going through this read we're going to do some clarity to go kind of go over this a little deeper but with the queen of wands um it's like it's almost like saying hey it's i'm showing you my imperfections i'm showing you what's wrong i'm not hiding these things i'm not like being fake with you and being 100 with you and yet you still don't see what i'm showing you you're not seeing what's up in the very forefront um it's what you're telling your person um because even even whether it's cold hot you're you're still your same person and sometimes you're balanced there i see a lot of leo energy involved with this so we've had um some virgo energy going on in your read we've also had some um, Libra energy with that justice card. We've got some Gemini energy going on with that strength card in reverse. We've got the Virgo with the highest priestess. And then, of course, with the page of wands, um, that can kind of count fine. 
find find itself in almost anybody's category but with the queen of wands it's like you you strive for perfection you fight to be like the better and and sometimes you feel like majestic things just happen and you don't understand why they happen but it's because of the seeds that you planted as a child the things that you were doing right and and doing your best to try to like revive your karma bring your karma vibe back to itself so that you're like fully aware of what like awake and aware is what I keep hearing awake and aware um of what's going on around you because um there are some people that seem as if they are standing um 100% in your corner and they may not have the best intentions for you I'm going to go ahead and pull a couple of our goddess cards just so I can kind of get some clarity over the, on this overall read for you Pisces and thank you for being um, I have much gratitude for my anonymous subject today okay so we got the ace of pentacles you've been worried about how your finances are going to come out and what are you going to do um with the first card coming up as the as the ace of pentacles it's definitely clarifying with your 401s moment you are going to be balancing out your spending habits and you're going to be saving up and things are going to be really good because you're going to be using these things to invest back in yourself um, and with you investing back in yourself, you're but basically investing in this business. So this partnership that you're going to have is going to ve grow very fastly and it's going to catch you off guard. Got two cards. Oh, we got quite a few cards that time. Um, there is some third party energy going on here, though, emotionally, relationship wise. Um, it You feel like you're being torn between two different people. And it's almost as if you don't know where to go. So like almost you make a step this way and you hurt the other one's feelings. You make a step that way, you hurt the other one's feelings. And you've been kind of like going back and forth with the, between this toggle for quite some time, um, relationship wise. And you've kind of like feel like the man in the middle, like, but you're, you're hurt too behind this shit because one of the people hurt you prior to, and then they kind of like came back in the picture once you were talking to the other person. And was like, no, no, I want my attention back. But you've been trying to figure out how to toggle the two of these things without. Because you've got, like, your perfect girl over here on one end. And then, like, the other side of your 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 perfect girl. Like, if they were in one body, they would be the perfect person for you. Is the crazy thing. Um, but you've been doing a lot of reflecting on that. You have been kind of sitting into yourself, but not enough. Um, you have not be, been like connecting with source and relying on source with this hermitness and like meditating over yourself. Because once you get yourself together, you will be able to figure out which one of these two people are going to actually be the better match for you. But you're still young, so you have time. Um, you also got the Queen of Wands with the Queen of Wands. Um, and we have it twice in this reading. So it, you you definitely are like wanting people to see your imperfections and respect your imperfections and you know let them know that it's okay because you see them because you you love them unconditionally so you want that same unconditional love to be returned to you and in some situations you don't feel like you're getting that um at the very bottom of the deck you guys got the four of pinnacles so you are trying to balance out some things your four of pinnacles um you're trying to balance out some things when it comes to how you overall handle things Give me something that's going on with this strength card. Is is it the, the circumstance within itself within the relationship that's causing the need for you to be more confident in yourself? Yeah, you're birthed in something. Um, you're going to be creating some new things and it's going to be growing. Um, you got the justice card again, clarifying the justice card. You also... Um, Oh, wow. You got some Aries energy going on as well. There's someone that, that, that kind of like gets jealous and like, I don't know if you're working on your anger management or working on controlling your temper, but 
I get this moment where you have like these really cool chill moments and all of a sudden you just like snap out of nowhere. It's like I let the dogs out. <laughs> Ooh, let the dogs out. Woof. Woof. Like straight up though, like but not the nice dogs, not the fun ones that you want to dance with, the kind of ones that you're like, hey, 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 get your dog, bitch. Like that kind of dog. Um it's like you have these really calm moments and then you all of a sudden see the five of cups you all of a sudden remember that you have this milk that's spilt um with your emotions and it's like bitch you hurt me <laughs> not once not twice but three times but then you you look over to the right and you realize that you still have these other cups that are still standing so you still have other emotions and things that you're working on and other plans so all is not lost like yes you go, you've gone through some things this shit didn't work with this this i tried this job that shit didn't work tip the cup over oh I tried this girlfriend, this girlfriend didn't work, tip the cup over, fuck relationships. Um, I tried a new atmosphere, going to a different environment. Oh, that didn't work, tip the cup over. So you keep feeling like no matter what you do, nothing is working out in the way that you think it should. Um, but you've got to allow for you to remember your and remind yourself that you can only control what you can control. There are some things that are not in your control and you've got to kind of roll with those punches and there's other things that are very much in your control and you have to do whatever you can to put yourself where you want to be um yeah you've been feeling like you are kind of like alone and left out in the rain um and abandoned at some point feeling like you had no other um atmosphere or no any other way to go um with this image here like look she's she's literally crawling in a cave there's light behind her but she feels like it's just over and that is the cat comes in to show you that there's going to be mystic help there's going to be guidance of help um you got the cat with the queen of wands as well showing up and that slight energy that's been around you is going to kind of go away like someone's been being kind of really sneaky around you and it made it made you feel as if you weren't being good enough or you weren't doing like the best you can in the circumstance but that's gonna go away because you've got the three of cups coming right behind that letting you know that you are going to be having a celebration moment this is going to be you and a group of people being able to celebrate that you that's something you overcame something you overcame a situation um whether it be financial emotional um or relationship this may even be business, business partnership again because you you had that three-way situation you had the um four of wands come in which was definitely celebration and that's celebration on top of celebration so you're gonna have moments where you're like you're you're going up and down and you're having these really high high moments and then having low moments at the exact same time so it's like you're you're having highs in your work atmosphere in your career and then having a low in your home and relationship lifestyle um but then you're gonna come back up and and have those like those celebration moments where things are working out where there's almost like engagement um there you're you're actually engaging in dealing with things with people yeah you got the six of wands right after that um a lot of these this um this concernment that you've had previously um i see like you, the the inner child in you is starting to be healed it's starting to remove some of that negative energy that you've been holding on to just because of the thoughts that keep coming back and keep playing back i keep seeing images of like arguments that you've had with people and it leading to you reacting like going and doing things that were like negatively impacting you as a person is any of this resonating with you at all a little bit yeah okay um yeah you've just been trying to maintain a balance um but the wheels are starting to spin in a better direction for you um with that card you've got the fairies and if you see there's one red and there's one blue i always say there's like that good and that bad and it's like you're trying to balance like whether or not what what it is that you do or are doing is a good or a bad thing but what if it wasn't necessarily about good or bad and it was just about the best thing for you about doing what's best for you i'm gonna pull two more cards oh hell yeah you got the ace of cups Followed by you connecting with nature, followed by a divine connection. You have spirits and ancestors watching over you. You just got to push yourself to the edge. You've got to, like, work hard. I remember how earlier today I told you that, like, I normally only do, like, 
two miles um, on my walk three, like three times a week. But today would have been made day number four. And I, I pushed myself to do like that extra two miles to go to my homegirl's house and come back. It was like that was an extra two miles. You know what I'm saying? But I wouldn't be embarking on my journey as far as I am had I not pushed myself over that ledge. So sometimes you've got to kind of like walk yourself into bliss, especially even if you're scared or you're nervous um, or feeling insecure about what you do. Um, you can't let those things burden you because everything that's about to start happening to you is divine. It's heaven sent. Um, you with the cups, uh, the, excuse me, the ace of cups. Um, look at how all of that um, blessing and prosperity and emotion is, is blowing into that cup. If you look at that cup, that cup is filling and overflowing. When I think about cups, all I can think about is prosperity and things being um, like all the hard work that you've, you've been doing paying off. And with you connecting to nature, you going out and just kind of like just being to yourself and connecting with what's around you. The universe is going to take care of you. So you've got to take care of the, the what's in the universe around you. Um, and it being a divine connection, someone, some spiritual um whether it's like an aunt or a grandmother someone someone that passed away is definitely helping guide these steps and helping get you to the right direction um i'm being told that like everything doesn't look everything that looks like it is what it is isn't always what it is is what i keep hearing and it's like you you've got this this star card where you've got this one foot in the water and one foot out the water but yet the moon keeps like trying to distract you and confuse you with illusion telling you that you're not as good as you are and you 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 are a star you were destined to be a star and i think that's why earlier when we were talking i kept wanting to say aquarius because aquarius is associated with the star card um but being with you guys being a pisces and coming into the star moment you're not used to all this attention being on you so it makes you nervous um Give me. And you feel blinded going through the past. You've been waking up in the middle of the night. Um, you've been feeling like everyone is fighting against you. But in reality, um, you're up top in a defensive position. Being able to um, overpower and defend for yourself. It's like you're, you're fighting for that little kid that went through everything that he went through um, on the inside. And everything seems like an attack or in a battle to you right now um but keep writing keep keep working on your projects keep working on your lyrics keep doing the things that you're doing because all of this is going to pay off um it's going to bring you to a divine connection and this will can also pass for relationship i got the lovers card which is gemini energy as well um, this can pass off as a divine connection for you with that divine connection. This can be with relationship or this can be even with partnership with with like labels or um, different um, copywriting artists, different people who, who are who can promote you being who you are supposed to be and destined to be. Yeah, you got the four cups right behind that, which means that wish fulfillment is going to come. If you do these things and be patient, work on yourself, work on the things that are internal that you've been kind of battling with, you know, still protecting that inner child. Um, everything that, that happens is not always intentional. And some people don't know the, the things that you battle deep within and they trigger those things, but you, you, you need to use those things to be what your motivation when you write, um, continue using that as, as like your guide, as your true story, you talk in the, that moment because it's going to bring you into connection with someone that is going to be able to uplift those dreams and be able to help manifest those dreams into reality and br bring all your wish fulfillments tr true. Yeah, you got the three of pentacles, so you've definitely been working on on what you're doing you've been working with some people that have already been like established in where you're trying to go and they're like kind of guiding you and helping you so pay close attention to the details when you're when you're in these environments and when you're going through these things yeah because some things have to um die in order to be reincarnated 
you guys got the death card with that death card it's not saying that everything is over it's just saying that there there was like a old you and then now there's a new you and the new version of you is going to be able to bring you into that wish fulfillment with the four of cups that you, card don't mean nothing to no not at all um you got the hangman as well um, with the hangman, is saying that you've been kind of been in a place of mindset where you feel like you're stuck, almost as if you've been having writer's block. Um, and so that writer's block has to die in order for you to continue to do what you're, what you're destined to do. So you've got to keep pushing yourself past your limits. Um, yeah, we also got the Queen of Pentacles here. Uh, with the Queen of Pentacles, it, that she's, she's very determined, very disciplined. Um, she secludes herself sometimes in order to reconnect with the universe, in order to reconnect with what's around, you know, like with the, the atmosphere itself, not necessarily people, but there may be a person that brings this calmness to you. Um, yeah, because we got the five of ones all over again. You've been battling with yourself and having like inside thoughts where you're over criticizing yourself like you feel like you're you you're not good enough for where you're trying to go but in reality you've got everything that needs to be happen um you're gonna be the nicest the knight of swords you're gonna be bringing in a very strong line of communication it's gonna take people to other places and mindsets um those sleepless nights are you gonna be able to use those to to manifest your dreams you're gonna be able to use those nights that you can't sleep to get up and write you know, even if you don't remember everything that you thought about or that you were thinking about, write it down so that that way you can get it off your chest and go back to sleep because you're going to need your rest for what's coming, okay? Yeah, you're going to, your writing's going to bring you some real good benefits. Um, let me pull this other card. Uh-oh. Hey, will you get my glasses off that desk for me, please? I'm going to go ahead and flip the cards, but I can't see them. Thank you. We're almost done. I'm going to do some, some slight clarity after this, but this should definitely paint the picture with the words for you. This is deep. How are you feeling so far? I have a relate to it. Yeah. Yeah. Anything of it making you nervous? Like. My mind's giving me. But does it like coincide with what you were kind of thinking about as to what why you wanted to have the read to begin with? Somewhat. Okay. In a way, yeah. I'll take that. So out of our angels and guardians deck, you guys received the seven of emotion. <clears throat> it says your angels are asking you to make an important decision that you've been putting off. It's likely you know which choice you should make. But you're procrastinating so you don't upset someone. Ask heaven for guidance and make the choice that celebrates who you truly are. You've got the three of thought. It says loving angels surround you to heal and comfort you. The sadness you feel will fade away in time. And then you'll be able to see clarity, or excuse me, clearly how important this situation has been to your spiritual growth. Take the time that you need to forgive yourself and others so that you can embrace the future with joy. See, we talked about getting rid of that childhood energy and healing that child. Um, you guys received the, um, the healer of emotion. It says this is a time to follow your heart and feel the fullness of your emotions. You may feel so compelled to nurture, uh, to nurture others that you forget to take care of yourself. Didn't we talk about that? This read is clarifying itself. It says um, flashes of intuition provide you with incredible insight. You or another person is kind, tender-hearted, loving, and trust and a trustworthy friend. 
You also received received happy a happy change. It says your angels have heard your prayers and band together to create real and joyful changes in your life. Events begin to move forward and great progress will now be possible. You may need to make some rapid decisions due to the suddenness of activity. Be confident and trust that the guidance you and excuse me and trust the guidance that you receive. You guys got the tent of abundance. It says heaven has provided so many blessings. Your family members are bonded and work working together. The children are provided for a comfortable retirement. Um, for a comfortable retirement. Oh, will one day come along? Um, it says you've taught your family the grace that comes from knowing right from wrong. And you should be very, very, very proud. You guys got, you got review and contemplation. It says you've accomplished a great deal in your life and you have much to be proud of. Now it is time to decide what's next. As you contemplate the past and the present, you'll get a clear, you'll get clear on your divine life purpose. Do not be distracted by conventional thinking. Be the real you. Step outside that box. Stop sitting in these boxes. Step outside the box. Be yourself. It's okay to be you. And you got the messenger of thought. It says, a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. There is so much to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know... You will meet or, excuse me, someone you know will meet or someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. It says this person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and very diplomatic. So you state your mind, you speak your peace, and that's who you, exactly who you're going to need to be to get through these next set of hurdles. It says, um, you got the messenger of abundance. It says, wonderful news, excuse me, wonderful news regarding your career. A new job, a promotion, or acceptance into an excellent school comes into your life. You might feel ready to do something that's challenging and fulfilling. This situation may involve someone who is fun to be around and sometimes mischievous. This person who may be you is youthful, optimistic, and very clever. All right, I'm going to ask for two more cards. Um, well, no, three cards from our ancestors and angels. And ask our ancestors, we call upon you now. We welcome you here and in our presence. Help us get clarity for our Pisces. You receive the great teacher. Oh, you got the guardian angel. And last but not least, you got the peacekeeper. So, with the great teacher, um, this is definitely turning, telling you to learn from spiritual experiences. Um, if you notice, this kind of looks like Jesus letting go of a dove. And he's like releasing certain things that were going on in the past. And kind of gaining a new insight on how life is and how life should be. 